today we are going to see how to generate the QR code using Spring Boot. And simple step I can summarize. In first step, download the Spring Boot project from start.spring.io, add the QR code generator dependencies in perm.xml, implement the business logic to generate the QR code, and write the QR code into the file. And finally, test by using REST endpoint. Let's see, sample. The first step, what we do is go to the start.spring.io, specify moment project and language is Java and choose the latest version 2.3.4. And um, you, can, you can give project metadata, whatever you want. And um, packaging structure, I'm going to use it as jar and uh, Java version eight. And also you add one dependency called uh, spring dot spring web web dependency and uh, this dependency uh, we are going to use for to generate the rest uh, rest endpoint okay and simply click on the generate button and uh, the file will download and as soon as this file downloaded you go and import the project in your favorite editor i just imported the project and second step what you need to do and uh, add a, add a pom dot pom pom dependencies okay we need two dependencies one is core and another one is java sc um, actually this this package is com.google.zxing okay zxing this package uh, we need two 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 jars one is core and another one is java sc the core is to generate the matrix images and the <coughs> matrix file matrix and and java se is used to generate the matrix to image suppose you want to save into this particular file uh, or you want to see the result as a file um, you you can use the java java se okay and let's see how we are going to implement our business logic in a quick way and first i have implemented a simple service class which is accepting three parameters one string uh, input text and another one is width and height okay this means actually um, whatever whatever input you are giving and uh, we are trying to generate generate the qr code for that input and uh, width and height how how big it is um, how, how uh, okay usually um, 100 110 110 we give it and 300 300 we can give it for to view the larger view mm, yeah for that purpose we just had a three parameters and just to implement the service okay and uh, okay I just i have had an empty empty service i have implemented as of now just what i do is i just i will try to um, to save some time i just i will try to copy this uh, code here and i will paste it okay that's it and uh, here what we are doing is here just you are you are using Q qr code writer from the zxing jars and um, qr code qr code writer uh, this is used to generate the bit matrix okay this bit matrix is actual qr code uh, um, it will be there inside this bit matrix and suppose you want to save this bit matrix uh, see here um, here this way we, we we assign the values to the bit matrix and the qr code writer is the actual class which we are going to uh, just imported and just uh, we are going to use the encode method and we are passing whatever the three input parameters which we received and along with this one and we we also specify we are also specifying in the barcode format qr code okay good and second thing and um, okay uh, we need to convert this image to okay uh, we, uh, we have to write this image to somewhere in the file okay simple and buffer image is a uh, we can um, buffer image is the image uh, the it's a java java buffer image and the matrix image writer uh, this is a, this is what we just we discussed about uh, like um, java sc uh, java sc uh, J, uh, zxing package we are going to use here and with this one to we 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 build the we prepare the buffer image. Okay, we prepare the buffer image and we we assign to this buffer image. After this buffer image, we can write into the file or stream or byte is how whichever format you want to just you can you can do the same format. Okay, 
and say now 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 the business logic is completed and uh, okay uh, we are going to save the file into the um, uh, file as uh, file as backend and also i am returning the same um, uh, file as a bytecode also you can see the bytecode uh, in the rest endpoint see next thing is just i am writing one rest endpoint and to 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 give values or as of now just i am making it a simple simple rest uh, the method and just i am giving some input method uh, like uh, um, okay uh, uh, see you can you can see in the screen and um, with with i am specifying 300 300 and um, okay uh, the before going to uh, okay qr code just i will delete all the previous qr code if anything is buffered or something okay now now the next thing is just uh, okay i i have i have prepared the one, one endpoint that is uh, that is that endpoint name is qr code endpoint and in this we are passing three parameters as uh, service class which we, we have designed for three parameters one is uh, input text and another one is height and width okay done next step okay simple go through uh, go to this uh, um, uh, just run this uh, sample and just i'm running it and uh, let let it bring up okay see how simple it is within a fraction of minutes and our rust service is up and running good now the port is 8080 and we go to the local host colon 8080 and uh, qr code okay that's it just enter and see how yeah this is the qr code it is generated by the okay now see whether the what exactly okay uh, our qr code is generated successfully yes it is generated this is a qr code and let's validate this qr code and uh, let's see is there any online tool is available and uh, i found one online tool available for this one just see upload the qr code and choose okay uh, your image and just uh, yeah this is the value we got it from here okay that's all if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thanks bye bye